just there yeah. was a town hall, a, a radio town hall, so that you couldn't tell how the many only kind this guy does. Right. Uh, this is with Scott Henman, Henman, Hennen, who is the um, uh, Scott Hennen is the uh, radio host of iHeart Media. Yep. Of hi- iHeart Media. Local to Fargo. Well, I mean, I was going to say, this Fargo is Matt's, correspondent, Matt Matt's Matt. congressman, Kevin Kevin Kramer, like you like to call him. Matt's always said that he is a, a really reasonable for a Republican. Matt there's likes a, this guy. There's only, one, <laughs> there's only one congressman there, right? That is correct. And, and Matt's always said that it's he's so a weird pragmatic... That there's more senators than congressmen from a place. Yeah. Matt always says he's a pragmatic, smart guy who reaches across the aisle. I just want you to, too. yeah, I want you to think about this before you hear that clip. Matt likes this guy a lot. Is that is that true? Do you really like this guy? Yes. <laughs> and here he is uh, commenting on uh, the speech. Are you there, Chris? All right, let me try Mike, Northern Minnesota. Go ahead. Good morning, distinguished congressman. Hi, Mike. Anyway, I uh, watched part of it last night, and I thought, boy, the Democrats were sitting a lot, and that's why they didn't get elected last time. They have to get off their backside and get something done and work together. I know the Republicans didn't work with them when Obama was in, but we were working for wrong goals back then. Pause it. I, I, can I just say, it? the self-awareness of that caller is sort of astonishing. Like, he goes from saying that it was a metaphor that they would not stand during parts of the, the speech. And they've got to get with it. We've got, for the sake of the country, we've got to work together. Let me just um, uh, also excuse the Republicans for not doing what I've just appealed for on patriotic grounds for eight years, but that's because they had, the Democrats had goals that I did not appreciate. So here uh, is my comment to you, Congressman, which I know you're going to elevate. We have, well, to have that's a, right. something to shoot for. No, that, that's right. And there are many things. There were many things they stood for as well. And, and putting people back to work, putting American products as a priority, um, you know, uh, infrastructure. Uh, you know, there were a lot of things they stood for, but many they did not. But by the way, did you notice how poorly several of them were dressed as well? <laughs> it's, it, you almost... Scott, it, it is a syndrome. There is no question. There's a disease associated with the, the notion that a bunch of women would wear bad-looking white pantsuits in solidarity <laughs> with Hillary Clinton to celebrate her loss. It, you cannot get that weird. Now, I mean, let's just break so you this like down this guy a lot. Let's let's break this down there for, for a second. He he elevates it by saying, like, to be fair. They stood up for uh, jobs and infrastructure and this and that. Like, like, like he's like, he's crediting them with being, look, they're, and then he immediately just attacks the women for wearing white outfits, which he's not aware, of course, has nothing to do with Clinton as much as it does with suffragettes uh, wearing the white outfits. Um, they also had no fashion that sense. That just shows. That just shows the the. I mean, if you ever wanted a better example, like if you wanted to demonstrate to someone like how much misogyny played. Now, I know people on the left have their issues with the Clinton, but the if you wanted to show how much misogyny plays out in American politics, you know, the idea that like he was willing to sort of go out of his way to credit the Democrats, the male Democrats, uh, with (laughs) supporting policies that are patriotic. But then the disease involved in the women who wore white outfits uh, is just, I I mean, that was just stunning. They're dead in these disgusting white outfits. They are dressed like Bag ladies at Penn Station, and they get out to applaud it. I mean, it's frankly really pathetic. This guy doesn't know what Penn Station is. And uh, I also know. I know what Penn Station fucking is, you lesbian. <laughs> Don't you ever talk back to me again. My uh, North Dakota sources. <laughs> my, uh, my North Dakota sources tell me that. Uh, <laughs> That uh, Kramer has gotten in trouble with hunting groups because he's trying to privatize land south of Bismarck Mandan. So, oh. if any Republicans are listening. Oh.
Mm-hmm. No more hunting in Bismarck, Cox. L- Lake Oahe. Maybe you should buy some property if you want to hunt instead of being poor. <laughs> <laughs> you all have access to all the. <laughs> you have access to hunting, SJW hunting cocks. <laughs> hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Some over. Subscri- subscribe.